Okay, uh, hello everyone. So in addition to the uh, instruction posted in the class website, I'd like to um, create a uh, video in order to give you a more uh, concrete sense about the week eight assignment. Right, so in week eight assignment, basically we could create a enum uh, set uh, to define different constants uh, that represent different months of the year. Uh, and then the program gonna take a uh, input from the user and then the program gonna display the corresponding season of the year. Okay, so for example, if the user enter number one, so we imply that corresponding to January and uh, the program gonna display the season gonna be winter, right? So that's just pretty straightforward and simple program. Right, so um, the first step, we create a um, C-sharp uh, console program as we did in the previous week, right? So um, the environment, we gonna use the system and so system console right here. So remember that it's a system console right here. Uh, we uh, declare in the, uh, of the namespace right here, we use, uh, we declare in the, uh, a beginning of the program later on when you have the right line right here we don't need to have the using the console uh, dot the right line anymore because this one has been a uh, specified uh, right at the top of the program so by doing that uh, you can save some of the typing down here okay all right um so the first uh, element of the program is that the declaration of the month uh, uh, in time in terms of the enum type okay so this is basically the define a uh, name constant where each of the name right here corresponding with a one number or one constant right here so basically right here we define the month uh, enum type where the constant one corresponding with the uh, a month uh, January. And uh, the following month right here, uh, we're gonna have a, a February, gonna be two, March uh, three and so on. So basically December gonna be corresponding to the constant 12, okay? We also declare a enum season where the spring corresponding to one, summer two uh, corresponding with the constant two and so on, okay? Uh, however, uh, this one uh, we don't use in this program, so we can um, just uh, maybe uh, ignore uh, this one. The main program gonna be starts right here uh, inside this one. Okay. So the first part we gonna declare a two variables. Uh, one we call a month string that gonna be string type, and month num uh, that gonna integer type. So this one gonna be used to store the string enter. Or the, 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 the values enter uh, by the user uh, in the string type. And then we convert the string type into a uh, numerical or integer type. So um, the first one, we're going to um, display the information on the console to let the user knowing that they need to enter a number that in the range of 12, uh, 1 to 12. Um, so the next command right here basically gonna be uh, this one gonna read or uh, take whatever the value entered by the user uh, store into the uh, variable we call month string we declare up over here. Right, uh, so this remember that it can be string type, but we have the constant that's the integer type, so we need to do the conversion from the string type right here using the convert dot uh, uh, to integer 16 uh, bits right here uh, to the integer time that uh, the value has been stored in the month number here. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, we need to check if the uh, month gonna be in the range of 1 to 12 or not, okay? Because we say right here from 1 to 12, but maybe the user enters 0, uh, maybe uh, user enter 13. So the condition right here is gonna check if the number uh, the user enter gonna be within the range of one to twelve. So this one saying that if the man less than one or so this one representing the logical or uh, the man greater than twelve. So basically the number enter up here not in the range of this one. So we need to display the information saying that 
hey, the, the, the number you enter not in this range and we can close the program. Okay, so that's basically uh, what we are doing right here. Now, else uh, can, uh, statement right here saying that if this one not true, um, because this one true, we're gonna do it right here and the program gonna stop uh, uh, right there. Now it's saying that else, so it means the condition right here is not true or false. Uh, it means uh, the number enter in the range between one to 12, we are gonna need to display the corresponding season, right? So how can we do that? We use the switch uh, statement right here. We gonna check the value of the month number here. Um, Case number one is mean if the value of the month num equal one. So we know in that uh, that's gonna be corresponding to the January and that's gonna be the winter. So we can say, hey, uh, you enter the, uh, 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 because you enter one. So we are gonna say that uh, today is the winter season and we gonna break it. So basically break right here, we gonna skip all the other remaining cases, and we're gonna go out the switch uh, 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 statement. And uh, uh, basically, that's, that's all uh, the switch uh, uh, gonna be a, uh, doing uh, in this program right here. So the job gonna be complete the case number two. So basically, case number, number two gonna be the same. Uh, so you're gonna do a uh, corresponding to February. So that's gonna be winter, and you break it, and uh, so on, okay? Um, that, that's all, uh, just a few of all the cases, one, two, three, and two, uh, uh, until uh, 12, and um, run it. So um, after that, you gonna uh, put uh, all the uh, code, and also the instruction into the APA format as we did in the previous switch, and upload both of the program.cs and the report to the, uh, to the Dropbox, okay, so I can review it. Oh, if, when you run the program, you're gonna see something like this. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, they're gonna answer right here. So if I enter zero, uh, so basically after the rain, so this is gonna say please close the program and the run the program again. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the first, uh, this one gonna be coming to place. Um, now, if I enter number two, it means uh, February, so that's gonna be the uh, winter. So the saying that today is a winter, right? And we hit enter, that's the close the program. Uh, if we uh, enter number six, for example, that's gonna be June, and that's gonna be summer. So this is summer, and uh, uh, that, that's all. So uh, please uh, complete it, and uh, let me know if you have any question. Uh, thanks. Uh, have a great weekend.